This lesson, we're going to be cleaning up some of the code that we've been using in the earlier lessons. So let's create a fresh function, and then I'm going to comment this code out. So just using the edit and toggle comment, that gives us a quick way to toggle any of the comment content. We don't need the boo or the string value, so I'm going to simply just output those. And I'm going to actually get rid of it from the index 2 as well. And now let's go back into here. We've got the do get function. And the first thing we want to do is set the template value. So this is whatever the default template is that we want to use. And that's going to be index. And we can also create multiple templates as well. So going over to here, I'm going to make a copy of it and then just do a rename about this. So if this was an about page, we can just rename it to about. And we don't actually need all of this information here. So now we've got another page called about. So we're able to request the about page. So going back into the parameters and we want to run a check to see if the value of temp is within the request parameters. So I'm going to untoggle that as a comment because this is going to reset whatever the value of the template is that we want to use. And then going into here, we're going to try, and if we do have any errors, we're going to use catch to catch any errors that might be happening. And this will allow us a way to kind of troubleshoot uh, if there are any issues with the output. And we're, here we're just going to do a simple return uh, using the content service that we saw earlier. We're going to create text to output from string content and using JSON stringify, we're going to stringify whatever the event object is within the catch event. And then over here, we're, we're outputting the template. So we'll construct the template object. And we can also still pass in the data if we want. So it's an optional. You don't have to, of course, pass that. Or you could pass additional data if you want to. And then returning back that evaluate. I'm going to indent it so it's easier to read. And now that we've got a more cleaned up version of do get, let's go and just try it out, make sure that it is running. So we've got our template of index and template of about. So both of those templates are up and running and working. So coming up next, what we want to do is show you how you can include files. So typically when we're developing HTML files, we run and we include styling. So if I want to include the same style sheet across about and index, I'll show you how you can do that within the Google Apps Script web app. And as well, if you want to include the same JavaScript file, I'll show you how to do that as well. So that's all coming up. We're going to create a function to include files, files and file contents.